goals to get the win. You can view the goals at any time from the pause menu. Let's join this one already in progress. Here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, we get this challenge started in the third quarter with less than four minutes remaining on the clock. You're down two scores, but you've driven into opponent territory as we get set here first and ten. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drive him for an eight-yard loss. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. Throwing on second and long. Breeze. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. Touchdown! Travis Kelsey, 29 yards. And the Cowboys are back within a score. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. He's going to decide to go for two here. They'll try and throw for it. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage. Put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you have to do now is have your own drive and try to make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Seven yards there in the first down. From midfield, here's Mahomes. That is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, Parker. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He'll check this one down at the checker. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Javon Curse coming in to drop it for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. Third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield and coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. He'll return it from the six. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six to six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate. The receivers catch it. The ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? 
Pass, pass, pass. Finish at the rim. Basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. There's Breeze. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And this one will be returned to right around the 38 yard line. Partner, when you're playing cover two, this is like a tag team for the safeties. Each of them gets a half field responsibility. Their job is to stay as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, read the football, and go make a play. In this case, the free safety made the best play an interception. And now here comes Kansas City. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. So here's a first and ten at the 38. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scanlon. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. This second and four. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one goes for eight yards. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way and worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted him or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. On first down, Mahomes. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Javon Curse, his second sack of the night. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. On oh, is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is. At the six-yard line. Drew Brees in the offense. Down by five. A minute 56 to go. They'll have to go 90-plus yards, and a field goal does them no good as they've got it with a first down. That's caught by Palmer, and he's going to get out of bounds with the first down, so that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it, and that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill, the offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. They got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least 
just for the moment as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. Another run on second down. Try to cover up. He still finds it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Here's Pacheco once again. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The Cowboys single for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So a big one coming now for Harrison Bunker. This to put him a touchdown and a two-point conversion up. And his kick here is good. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. Well, they got the ball already. They're not going to risk the yardage and running another fourth down. They decline it. And what was that they taught you in law school, that possession is nine to the law? I didn't go to law school. Oh, you didn't? I thought you did. Well, I I'm going to <laughs> give that to you anyway. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. And it's nine-tenths of this game, too, having the football count. He's so litigious. So this is going to have to be a delay. Delay of game. Offense. That'll make it first and 15. Well, you came up short in this one, but no worries. Select replay challenge.